This video is about installing a new damper for the volume wheel in a Biomaster 8000. For more information please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. Most Biomasters, when I see them for the first time, have a volume encoder wheel that has no more damping. Typically only light acceleration results in several rotations. I tried many things over the years to fix this issue but nothing really worked well. But recently I had the idea to attach something to the shaft of the rotary encoder that would increase the coupling between the encoder shaft and the damping grease that is in the cavity of the encoder. So I started out with a piece of 3 mm silicone sheet where I drilled a 3 16th hole into and then I cut a small shape around this hole and you see it's pretty irregular this comes from the fact that silicone is actually fairly difficult to cut I did this with a wire clipper and this is pretty small this is just 8 millimeters maybe in diameter but it turns out that this irregular shape may actually be helpful for the damping because it probably increases the turbulence in the damping grease so anyway, this here now gets stuck on the encoder shaft and then spins with it and the damping grease is around it and provides some friction. I did some research into damping greases. It turns out that this is quite a bit of a science. I ended up ordering samples from Nye, which is a high-end manufacturer of such greases. They sent me a set of samples of their 868 type damping grease and I ended up using the highest density type with the VH designation. So let's see how this is working. So here you see the back of the rotary encoder and now I'm going to stick the attachment on the shaft. So the shaft sticks through and that's pretty much it. Now it's time to put the grease in. So I'm just squeezing out some of this pouch onto the shaft and the silicone part. And now with a toothpick I'm distributing the grease as good as I can. It's pretty it feels like peanut butter, so it's not the easiest thing to do. Now it's time to install a new O-ring. I usually buy O-rings from the O-ring store. Very nice store, and so I used their 014N70 Buna N Nitrile O-ring. This material has a very good long-term stability for sealing purposes. So let's put this in. Here you see the o-ring. Uh, it just goes around. There is no groove or anything. It just needs to be sealing up here and down here where the adjustment rail will make contact. So let's put the adjustment rail on. a little bit difficult to get that screw back in. There we go. And now we need to adjust this in a way that the rotary encoder is flush with the panel surface on the out outside and that and that it does not scrape with its housing when being turned. Okay, let's give it a spin. You can only really try it out when the panel is in its position because there is some weight of this wheel so make sure that it doesn't scrape and this looks very nice and you saw how nicely this was damped. Time to install the panel. This concludes my video about installing a new damper for the volume wheel. Thanks for watching.